Does anyone call you ZK? Yeah, it's ZK or Zebra fucking cats if you're nasty. Zebra fucking cats. City of Michael in the city of NYC with Zebra Cats. How's it going? In the house, MK and ZK. Why, most importantly, does the world need some Zebra Cats in it? Because it just feels better that way. I've been really lucky to be able to travel and see a lot of the world through Zebra Cats, so I really reveled in that and I enjoy being able to tell my story and perform my songs. Uh, to crowds that you know I would have never imagined would enjoy it or be interested in what I'm presenting. So it's really refreshing and I'm just really lucky and thankful to be able to do it. If everyone's like, uh, I need to hear a Zebra Cat song, what is the first Zebra Cat song you would want someone to press play on if they've never heard you? I would say listen to like a mixtape. I would say okay. like the Champagne mixtape or the Darkly mixtape. But a lot of people I think are very familiar with Amari. Mm -hmm. And then outside of that, I mean, anything I think people fall upon, if it's a remix or an original track, you know, it's fun. You gotta press play on some ZK. Where did it all begin for you? Who were you listening to growing up? and whose sound pushed you to create your sound? Uh, I was definitely a child of the MTV generation, so I grew up, you know, listening to music videos and music every morning, um, and when I got home from school, and, you know, there are the Missy Elliotts and the Grace Jones and the Nina Simones and the Lauren Hills and the Fugees and, you know, Dem Dem Dogs and Two Live Crew and Uncle Luke, and I grew up listening to, like, a lot of Caribbean music, so your Bob Marley's and your Sister Nancy's and, you know, everything from Dalius to, you know, Mount Sims to, you know, Layla Arab, it was a very varied musical upbringing. And I went to an art school also, so we got show tunes and we got, you know, our musical theater in there as well. So it was a very varied musical upbringing. Your visuals are, I believe, and I will say this to the world, not just because you are sitting here, your visuals are some of the sickest available to the human eye. Uh, thank you very much, I appreciate it. Can you kind of take us through the evolution of once once a track is completed, how you kind of formulate the visual? My favorite part is getting in front of the camera and like setting up the production and just making it all kind of connect sonically to what we're seeing visually. And um, that's kind of what excites me really about, you know, being able to put a visual to a lot of the songs I've created. So, you know, I work closely with friends. The last music video I did was a three-part music video and we got a grant from the Austrian government so you know one kid messaged me on Facebook and was like hey we'd like to do a video for you and I was like uh, you live in Vienna how are we gonna make that happen and then we got a grant we went out there uh, with Layla and I and yeah we we're very lucky to get three videos done and we'll be at the Vienna Film Festival in May to present a live performance of it. So. Can we please talk fashion? Yeah. You're always wearing the illest things Will we see a Zebra Cats fashion line, please, question mark? Yeah, very soon. I'm um, doing a collaboration with Print All Over Me currently, and it's going to be a ZFK merch brand uh, collaboration, and also working on that with some friends. So I hope to have that out by June for men's collection. And uh, it's a basic print line, but after the success of the Harbor Reed cap and the t-shirts, I just wanted to be able to put something else out there. Can I sleep yes, in it? Done. That would be terrific. Yeah, sleepwear, terrific. knitwear. Okay. Who are your fashion inspirations? Um, always going to shout out with Owens because he definitely helped put me on and introduced me to a much larger fashion forward crowd. I think it's, as far as like who I'm wearing now, it's really eclectic. I get a lot of clothes sent from like friends and fans that are doing stuff and they want to support me, so I wear that. This was sent to me by KTZ. This ring was sent to me by a brand called Pink Noise on Instagram, this bracelet was sent by a friend who has a clothing company called Algae in Miami. So, you know, just supporting my friends and whoever sends me something, I'm glad to wear it. But uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of fashion, but it, you know, it changes by the season. So you kind of always have to stay up and be aware of what's happening. Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Right on. <laughs> stay tuned for fashion from ZK. This game I invented for you All right. is called the Cat's Meow. Ooh. So I'm gonna hit you with a list okay. of 
some of the world's most famous MCs. Okay. And you're gonna give me the first word that comes to mind when I say their name. Okay. You know, are they the cat's meow or are they whatever? Yeah. What well, first word that comes <laughs> okay, to mind? I'm ready. Give it to us. The cat's meow. Here we go. Azalea Banks. Two one two. <laughs> I Fair. love her. I love Azalea Banks. That's my sis. Much respect. Love her too. Snoop Dogg. Dogg. Snoop, we love Snoop. Love All Snoop. day, 420. Lauren Hill. Goddess, Queen, Zion. Yes. <laughs> Andre 3000. Father, legend, iconic. Thank Huge you. inspiration. Cool. Uh, Missy Elliott. She's a bitch in the best way ever. She is that bitch. Missy Elliott is the queen. Yes. yes. Iggy Azalea. Team, work. Uh, Australia. <laughs> Play in it, say. Uh, Remy Ma. Uh, Love and Hip Hop. Queen. Tink. Don't you want to party? Young Thug. That's my best friend. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Kanye West. Jesus. Father Jesus. Kendrick Lamar. We're going to be all right. Amen. He's really fucking shit up on the performance front, too. I mean, that performance from the Grammys was iconic, yes. and I'm really looking forward to seeing that tour when it does happen. Yes. That's the cat's meow. That was pretty painless, right? Yeah. I hope I, I never should have said one word. It was pretty great. You did really well. Thank you. Bam. Where can people follow you, Zebra Cats? Um, Zebra Cats on Twitter, MySpace, Facebook, <laughs> Snapchat. Um, yeah, all of that. It's Zebra Cats. And um, check me out on iTunes. Album's coming out soon. I'm going to be on a tour. Just join Little Big. Yeah. Do it to it. This city of Michael. Michael. Zebra, Zebra fucking cats. Subscribe. Stay tuned. Peace. Let's talk about the title that you're often given as the Beyonce uh, of Broadway. What? How do you feel about that? That's funny. You know, I've only heard, heard that a, a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple of times. Recently, Broadway.